American drones have fired multiple missiles into a region on Pakistan's border, killing at least 10 suspected militants. In the first strike, two vehicles carrying insurgents were hit, while in a separate attack, a home was destroyed. For more on that story, we're joined live by senior retired officer of the Pakistani Air Force, uh, Sultan M. Hali. Thank you so much for joining us here on RT, Mr. Hali. Now, how accurate is the information that only militants die in such attacks? As the full details of the strikes haven't been revealed and no proofs ever been given. Well, uh, I'm afraid uh, the uh, information which is being given out is very sketchy because especially since 2009, the United States seems to have changed the rules. It has declared that any able-bodied person uh, uh, who can be considered a militant will be considered a militant irrespective of the fact whether the person is a terrorist or not. This, in fact, uh, puts the onus of proving their innocence on the people who are being targeted. And this is not only unjust, but it is a mockery of uh, all kinds of human rights, and especially coming from a country which calls itself the champion of human rights. It is not following the Geneva Conventions. It is not following the United Nations. It is not even following its own uh, human rights charter, which has been highlighted in its own constitution. If you look at the inscription on the Statue of Liberty, which says, give me your huddled masses, your poor and your homeless, it appears that it is making a mockery of that too, because it is turning these people homeless, it is killing these people, maiming them and calling them terrorists to boot. Mr. Hali, uh, you and human rights groups have repeatedly urged an investigation into such killings, saying more data and videos should be passed to independent assessors. Why doesn't the U.S. allow an end to the so-called conspiracy of silence? Well, you see, uh, I'm so happy that uh, Ben Emerson, the United Nations Rapporteur on uh, Human Rights, has uh, made a statement and has called for the videos to be released. Only in the month of June, Neva Pele, the uh, Chief Commissioner for Human Rights, visited Pakistan and was aghast at the uh, violation of the sovereignty of the country, as well as the human rights which are being trampled by killing innocent people. And uh, the only reason why the United States is banking upon the use of drones is because it considers it a means by which its own troops, its own people are not put at risk. And sitting from, uh, say, 10,000 kilometers away, it fires away missiles, hellfire missiles on unknown people, which it later claims are uh, terrorists, is, uh, you see, cost effective for it because it is not exposing its own people to the danger. Mr. But the Hardy, fact is that it is violating... Let me just jump in there while you're talking about America and its drones. Uh, I mean, they're deeply unpopular in countries where they're used, which, you know, so there's an argument now that while they're using these drones to try to wipe out the terrorists, they ineffectively use, create more of them, a double-edged sword in many ways. Well, it's not uh, just a double-edged uh, sword. Uh, it is creating a greater hazard because what is happening is that the, t the terrorists who are targeted, uh, whether they are killed or not, is anybody's guess because there is no intelligent information available. But the fact is that the people who are killed, uh, the, the relatives of the victims,